Hi YouTube, uh, Steve here, and uh, this is a bit of a, uh, a preamble, a prologue to the video. Uh, just to apologize, I, when I shot the video uh, that you're about to watch, I was a little hasty in uh, my preparation to shoot it. I haven't made a video in a couple of years. Uh, the lighting is bad, the editing is really, really bad. Um, it's very much an amateur video. Um, not that I was ever professional, but, um, I've done better work and this is just to apologize for that. That said, I hope that you will enjoy the video and, um, thank you for watching it and, um, here we go. Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, Steve Vincent Furness. Uh, hope everyone out there is doing well. This is my first video in um, about a couple of years, I guess, and um, just had a lot going on. You know, it's it's uh, it's a thing when you got a family and you got kids. You've got uh, a lot going on. So, uh, but I, of course, um, am still here or trying to be anyway. And uh, today is a very special day. I um, received word, got an email this morning, that uh, my pre-order for the Scream Factory Friday the 13th box set uh, had been delivered. So I made up an excuse to leave work early. And here I am. And I thought, uh, what the hell, I'll do an unboxing. So we're going to do that right now. Unboxing, yeah, literally, because I haven't even... Um, I've barely taken it out of the out of the box as I really don't feel like editing a huge video here I'm just going to do everything in real time so uh here we go with uh, the box or the glare it is still unwrapped um very comprehensive looking though um the box feels very good has a nice heft to it um does not feel cheap and I would say that maybe it feels even a little bit more, I won't say deluxe, but uh, um, just a real weight to it than even the the um, Halloween box set that was released by them a few years ago. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this. Be right back. I might mention that I know that I kind of look uh, like a Lon Chaney Jr. mid Wolfman transformation. Um, <laughs> It's, um, it's got nothing to do with COVID. Uh, it's actually got to do with the fact that um, I just haven't been able to pin my wife down to give me a, a haircut. So that's why I look a little wolfish today. Okay. Uh, this right here, here is actually um, sort of uh, held on there by uh, some adhesive gel. So I'm going to Peel that back. And I know that a lot of people save these. Here's a here's a closer look at it. Pause it if you can't read it. Um, so I guess I'll save it too. I don't know. So the box is very cool looking. Again, there is a, a sort, of, sort of a wraparound art. I like it. So let's just dive into the discs, shall we? Uh, I like the, uh, the sort of a clear uh, Blu-ray snap keep case, whatever. I think it's a nice little touch. A little different than what Severin does with the black cases, but I dig it. Uh, this is a uh, disc one, obviously, Friday the 13th. This does have reversible art, which is kind of cool. I don't know. Hopefully I'm getting that. Um, don't know that I've ever seen that before. Um, two discs, the uncut version, which I know a lot of us have been waiting for. And then the theatrical version here is uh, both of those discs inside of it. Back of the, of the, uh, shit, sorry. Part two. Part two. 
I have a real affinity and uh, just a real, just great memories of these films, most of them anyway. There are a few that uh, I would say midway through the series, I, I lost a little bit of interest. Uh, there's a reversible art right there. About midway through the, se the series, I kind of lost interest. Um, not that they aren't good, not that I don't appreciate them, but uh, they started to kind of blend in one into the other. But uh, still a lot of fun. I have, obviously have a lot of um, great memories of watching uh, the Friday the 13th films. Here we go with uh, uh, Friday the 13th 3D. Sorry for the glare, folks. What the hell do you expect me to do? The disc and the back. Uh, so I guess this is for 3D Blu-ray players and 3D televisions. I own neither. So I guess the third dimension is just going to be lost on me on this one. I do actually still have the uh, old Paramount Blu-ray uh, set. So I guess I'll just have to watch that if I want to watch it in 3D. Oh well, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Here's the back of the the uh, reversible art. Here we go with Friday the Thirteenth, the final chapter, and this is probably one of my favorites um, of the series. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, I think I watched it when I don't remember when I actually watched it, but it was it was during a good point in my upbringing and I just have a real affinity for it there's the disc art right there and um, here we go with the reversible art not exactly the coolest looking uh, reversible art but I think it's nice that Screen Factory actually gives you an opportunity to, to sorry to uh, that they actually give you the opportunity or the, if you want it, to use that particular art. Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning. Here we go. Making idle threats. Discard, not too bad. And reversible art. We'll call it a reversible text, as it's uh, hardly art on that one. Though I suppose you could say that art is in the eye of the beholder, so, you know, whatever. Friday the 13th, part 6, Jason lives. After six movies, I hope he's still alive. Otherwise, why are you watching him? There you go. Here's the back of that. Folks, I'm sorry for the glare. Once again, just apologizing through half the damn video. There's the disc art. And uh, this time, no reversible art, at least. You, I guess you could technically reverse this, but it would be upside down. And just weird. Friday the 13th, part 7, The New Blood. On Friday the 13th, Jason is back. But this time, someone's waiting. Waiting. I honestly can't believe I'm still doing these videos. I say still. I can't believe I'm doing another video. I kind of talked myself out of doing any more of these, but just so damn happy to have this box set that it, I just couldn't, couldn't not do another video. Uh, there's the art. And uh, no reversible art on this one either, just Jason about to slash and kill, causing blind terror. New York has a problem. Oh yes, Friday the 13th, part eight, Jason takes Manhattan. Oh boy, he takes it. He takes it all right. Reversible art, Rever that's not reversible art, is it? That is behind the Blu-ray, Jesus Lord. It's been quite a few months, folks. Uh, here we go with the uh, disc art. 
and reversible. Yeah, but you know, kind of a cool image anyway. To all you fanboys and girls out there that wanted reversible art for every release, I hate to break it to you, but it ain't happening. Uh, one of my least favorite entries in the series, and again, it's it's been a long time since I've seen it, but um, well, it's been a few years, a couple years, okay. It's been a couple years since I've seen it, uh, but not my favorite release, and I think it's pretty divisive amongst most fans. Uh, it is Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday. If you've seen it, I think you can understand why I may not be in love with it. But I will say, try to do something a little different, which, you know, that's kind of cool. You get, uh, you do get some reversible art on this, and you also get two discs, uh, an unrated version and a theatrical version. Wow, that's a lot of Blu-ray for a film I don't even like. Um... But maybe if I watch the um, both of these, I'll get a better appreciation for it. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, there is reversible art. It is the uh, classic... Uh, wait a minute. It's reversible, but only slightly, because the text is different. At the front, you've got evil. Uh, evil has... Be, yeah, Evil has finally found a new home. Jason goes to hell, the final Friday. On the reversible end of things, uh, Evil has finally found a, a home. Jason goes to hell, and he's not coming back. Definitive. Very definitive. And a fucking lie. It's a problematic movie and a problematic kind of um, way to package it with that reversible art. Yeah. Okay, here's one that uh, I like, and it's, um, it, it, I don't know that it's liked by many fans, but I like it. I liked it when it first came out, and I like it now, and it's, it's different. It tries to do something different, it does something different, and uh, this time I think it succeeded in doing something a little bit different, even though it's outlandish, kind of stupid, but a hell of a lot of fun. It's Jason 10 or Jason X. It, it's, it's 10, for fuck's sake. Evil gets an upgrade. Evil gets the upgrade in Jason 10, or Jason X. Okay, here's the back. And here is uh, the disc art. Yeah. And here... Okay, now you're just screwing with me, man. Oh, I see. Okay, this is a little different, folks. You've got um, what is essentially the same front cover in the reversible section, but a different background, a different, uh, yeah, that. Because uh, the front, the, the back, the front back, what the fuck ever, is different. That may have happened before, but uh, on other releases, I don't remember. I don't remember these things usually. And perhaps there is like a, di a slight difference in the in the front covers, too. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to sit there and try to find little differences in them. But it's very well possible. Here's a perennial favorite. Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, I saw that in the theater. It's the disc art. And here's an interesting take on the back of the, uh, on the, on the reversible, on the reversible art. Uh, yeah, interesting, huh? I did show the back of that, didn't I? Okay. Finally, um, for completionist's sake, here is the, um, the sort of, uh, would you call it a reboot, I guess? Um, of the Friday the 13th from, I want to say, 2009. 2009. Sorry, a little flummox there. 
I, oh, <laughs> I did not go see this in the theater. And I'll have to do a little digging to see what, uh, in terms of special features for that span this box set, what exactly is new and what isn't. Um, I know that there are some new features, and I know that there are some uh, uh, sort of carried over features. So, okay, what the fuck is this? Look at this. <laughs> Am I the only one that has the um, what looks like the old two thousand and nine Blu-ray version of this? Did Screen Factory just drop the ball on this? What the fuck, man? I mean, I'm, I don't particularly care about this film, but... Well, shit, I mean, I I kind of want to know now. I'll have to do some digging. Yeah, I'll have to do some digging into that one. Here we go. Reversible art. I gotta say, though, all this aside... Screen Factory have done the, the Lord's work in terms of um, sort of putting this together. My goodness. Uh, I, I dropped quite a bit of money on this when it was uh, first announced and available for pre-order back in, was it June or July? But uh, I feel like it was worth the money, definitely. And, um, you know, I'm not going to hate Screen Factory if they just gave me an old disc of Friday the 13th, the reboot. One more, well, one more uh, Blu-ray, <laughs> and then we'll get into the other stuff. Uh, it has a set, uh, it has a Blu-ray disc of, uh, extras. There we go. Of everything that is available, the one thing that this does not have is that, um, uh, Crystal Lake's, um, sort of, uh, Crystal Lake documentary, uh, whatever it was called, forgive me uh, for not remembering what the documentary name is, because I've never seen it. But um, it's 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 about a four hour long, very comprehensive film documentary about the the sort of the the films, the making of the films. Uh, I guess the sort of um, fan mythology. I'm describing a documentary I've never fucking seen, so forgive me. But it doesn't have that, and uh, as much stuff that there is, there is in this box set, the um, the collector completist in me might have to buy that <laughs> just so I can know everything is you know you know whenever Kane Hodder uh, tripped and fell on a branch, I'll know about it. <laughs> And when somebody says, no, that was on day five, I can say, no, that was on day seven that he did that. Screw you. I know, because I'm a super fan. Anyway, let's open this up. Oh, God bless. There's two. There's two. Jesus Lord. Two, <coughs> excuse me, Blu-rays here. Um, full of Friday the 13th goodness. Goodness. And, um... I will give you a look at the, uh, and I'll give you a look at the, uh, the reverse on the art there. Can you see it? Yes. Something's about to happen in that scene, I think. And that's it. No more. That's it. It's over. See you later. Bye. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't go anywhere. I'm lonely. Okay. I'm lonely. Uh, there are a couple things else uh, uh, left to show you. First off is this book, booklet, booklet. It's not quite a book. It's not quite a booklet either. Um, I was under the impression, now maybe I just completely um, did not read as close closely enough the, the details surrounding this from Screen Factory, but um, I thought this was going to be a, a hard cover, hard bound hardbound cover book <laughs> whatever uh, it's still very nice though it's got a nice nice sort of feel to it and uh, it's uh, got some 
in case all this stuff wasn't enough, here are some more little tidbits and fact, facts um, about this franchise by Michael Gingold. Michael Gingold. He's going to tell me something that I've never read before. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very nicely um, put together little booklet. I've just opened it, but uh, there's a nice photo of Jason 10. Uh, how many pages does it have? It has uh, 50, 54 pages. Not bad. Finally, uh, there are, uh, there's just, just this one more thing to show you, and then I'll let you go. All right. Uh, it's, it's, it's this bad, bad looking. This tube of wonderment, what could it be? It's a poster. I just smelled it. <laughs> now I have to safely take this out of here. Just to show you, because it's going to go right back in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get the fuck out of there. Dirty son of a bitch. I gotta give them kudos for putting this all together, because this couldn't have been easy. Maybe that's why they only made a certain amount of them. Uh, there's uh, some protective tape there to Hold it all together. Oh, you son of a bitch. How do you get this fucking thing off? I'm not gonna lie, this was a pain in the ass to get to to take off, to remove. In fear of actually cutting or somehow damaging this poster. Be warned. Maybe you have very dexterous hands. I don't. I'm left-handed, using a right-handed scissor. Holy shit. I, 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 I just unrolled both of those posters. There's two, I'd forgotten there's two. And they're very nice, they're very high quality. I like them a lot. I don't know if I'll ever hang them up. Maybe I will. Maybe. But I am not going to show you them because it is a son of a bitch to get them to um, to be able to show them to you and not crease them or damage them or just piss myself off. So I'm going to show you some pictures that I found online. Trust me, uh, they're the same. Oh, yeah, that's great, huh? Yeah, it's wonderful. All right. Well, uh, that about does it, folks. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a long time, and I'm um, glad to be back doing this um, for the time being. But, uh, you know, and if you like this, do let me know. Um, I can uh, make more videos in the future. If you don't like it, um, let me know or don't. Um, and if you don't like it, then I won't make any more videos. And then, you know, we can all get along with our lives. So thank you for watching. In all sincerity, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.